So in this video, I'm going to explain how I got my first job as a software developer in South Africa, right? So my whole journey just started in grade 10. <clears throat> so the whole journey just started in grade 10. So I was introduced to this subject called CAT, which translate to or is an abbreviation for computers applications technology, right? So I thought we we're going to do more programming stuff, but we barely did that. We, we were more focused on the hardware of a computer. Like we did more Word, uh, spreadsheet, and access database, which did not benefit me in any way. Even the teacher would barely just go in front and teach us something. So we had to learn everything on our own, which was a problem, right? So fast forward to 2020, I watched this video on YouTube where Bill Gates was on it and the founder of Twitter. So they explained how easy it is to, to dive into coding, to get involved in the software development stuff. So that inspired me to be able to, to start my journey, right? Because uh, uh, even before grade 10, I had, um, I was really uh, passionate about programming, right? Although I did not know how to start. So I started to do more research on how to get started. Then I found this video on HTML and CSS, right? They taught me HTML, CSS, and it, did, it didn't really take me that long to, to understand those two. I think it took me about a day. Yeah, to be honest, it took me about a day. So to learn those, uh, those two, because I had prior knowledge of HTML. We did some basic minimum uh, HTML in high school in that subject I told you about. But although I did not know how to create a website, right? I knew the, like, the, the tags, but I did not know how to apply them, or what they do. I just uh, do some trial and error, throw them in uh, an, an, a code editor to find out what they do, right? But with this video, I was able to know everything, like what each and every tag does, right? So as you can see, it did not really take me that long to, to learn this tool. But I wouldn't create a nice looking website or create a website like I wouldn't know how to position things I would know like some other tags I wouldn't know them so I had to do more research to learn everything about some other tags and some other style uh, properties so I can be able to create a website so about three weeks that's when I was I uh, became more comfortable in this too so then I applied for jobs because I watched a video that uh, even if you learn HTML and CSS, you still get a job, right? In uh, well, in other countries that's possible, but in South Africa, yo, that was a problem. So I had to learn more. I had to learn JavaScript, right? To make a website interactive, I had to learn JavaScript because it makes the website dynamic, not static but dynamic, right? So after learning HTML, uh, JavaScript, I applied for jobs, but I still got rejected. Then. Uh, so I had to reflect on my mistakes, right? So I looked at the job applications and looked at the requirements. And I found out that you have to learn some framework that is like a JavaScript framework for you to get a job. But the most popular frameworks are React, Angular, and Vue in my country. I don't know about other countries, but those are two popular frameworks in South Africa, right? So I did some research on the, the, the three frameworks and I found out that actually React is the one that you have to learn if you want to get a job uh, in any country. Like it's most popular, like most con most uh, big companies use that language, right? So I started my journey of learning React. I think it took me about five days to, to learn everything. But some I didn't, I wouldn't like do them on my own. I had to rewatch the videos to if I wanted to do something that I've learned before so but I, as I was creating projects that really helped me a lot because those concepts will stick to my to my head so it didn't really take me that long to learn react because I had prior knowledge of JavaScript then I applied again but it still became a problem like in my country like it's not right really that easy to get a job like other countries like USA and the UK 
even the, the, the unemployment rate in my countries, I think it's around 70%, which is a problem, as you can see. So I had to get some job experience. That's what I found out, right? At least three years job experience, which is, is really not possible if you don't. Let me not say not possible. Let me just say is a problem uh, in my country if you don't have a degree, right? Because I did not have a degree in computer science or IT, right? Which was a problem. But I tried to find out some other ways to tackle this. So I went to local companies or businesses around my area. Then I told them that I create websites and I can create websites for them for free so that I can put those on my portfolio, right? So yeah, I put those in my portfolio, then I apply for jobs again. But I still did not get a job, right? So this is uh, this is seven months later, right? I still did not get a job. Why? Because although, yeah, I, I did, my applications went through this time. Like I went to the next step. Before, I did not even go to the next step. This time, I went to the next step. But on the next step, they required me to solve... Uh, a programming challenge right and that required me to have some knowledge about data structures and some other algorithms right which i did not really get this like even now i don't understand this because the the, the these jobs that i that i applied to they use html and css mo most of the time and react but they don't really or maybe yeah they, they're just testing me on my program solving skills but i don't really like get that because i barely gonna use those data structures right mostly they're gonna use uh arrays and and yeah some arrays and array lists but yeah i still have to learn those so i had to go back and learn the, the data structures the, the the linked list and everything then i went back and applied again and that's where i got a job I think it was about a year later because I got the job around July 2021. So that's when I actually got the job, uh, uh, my first job. So yeah, that's my whole journey, guys. So if I, if I went back like to, 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 to kind of like fix my mistakes, the first mistake I'll fix is trying to learn everything that is uh, recommended on the job application because I try to learn everything. I think I've not mentioned other things that I've learned because of the job application, they require you to learn Git and GitHub. Yeah, you have to learn those. Yeah, it was uh, recommended. Even yeah, if you if you're studying now, just learn Git and GitHub, HTML and CSS and JavaScript. I think with those five things or six things, you you'll be able to get a job. Right, but I still learn SaaS. I think I also learn WordPress. I don't know why, but I saw an application that required that. So I also learned WordPress. Then I learned like I, I learned some bunch of other useless stuff that I never used at a job. But if I went back, like I would learn just Git can get help, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, right? Those five things are the minimums that you need to get a job, right? So yeah, if I went back, I'll do that. And also, just try to to eliminate watching a lot of videos. I think that was another problem that I faced. I was watching a lot of videos, that, like a lot of tutorials, as they call in the in the uh, like, uh, the, the the technical world. They call them tutorial hell. So you watch a lot of videos on how to do something, but you don't really apply that, right? So that's a problem. So if I went back, I will watch I will, I will watch a video then apply everything that I've learned in, in that video on my own. If I come, come across a problem, then I'll go back to that video and try to fix the problem, right? But the, 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 the main thing here is to watch a video and apply that while creating a lot of projects. Don't create one project and just relax, just create another project that's different. So that will, that will really help you a lot, right? So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching like and subscribe for more content like this so as you can see it's really possible for you to get a job uh, without any degree or any bootcamp right so you, you don't spend any any cent you just learn everything on your own while watching videos on YouTube you'll still get a job right 